Good morning, good evening, or good night, depending on where you find yourself on the world watching this video. My name is Jorge Vasquez. I'm a New York based percussionist. In this case, I am a New York based bombero. A bombero is a person who sings, dances, or drums the music called bomba. And it can be male and female bomberos. A female is called a bombera. The male is called a bombero. Not the bombero that puts out fires. Although in some cases we do bring the fire. Today I will be teaching you how to play a rhythm from the Afro-Puerto Rican genre called bomba. That rhythm is called sica. Bomba goes as far as back from the late 1600s to the early 1700s, making bomba one of the oldest genres of music in Puerto Rico. That information was given to me by an amazing musician who studies the research of Puerto Rico bomba music, um, Alexander Lasalle. Alexander Lasalle is a band leader for the group called Alma Moyo, which I have a pleasure to be a part of. So let's get started. Get your drums ready. Get whatever you have, pillow, play on a pillow, play on a table. Join me, let's play together. Uh, whether you are seasoned bombero or bombera, or if you're new and you wanna be a future bombero bombera, uh, come and join me, this is for everyone. This is more a beginner stage, but the seasoned ones come and play and jam with us. So pay attention to the pattern. As I'm saying this, prepare and get some sticks with you so you can play with me. Um, first, let me show you how this goes. Right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, left. Now let's all play together. Now we'll show you a variation of how to play the qua. Okay? So the pattern goes like this. Right, 
right, left, left, right, 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 left, left, right, 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 left, left, right, 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 left, left, right, 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 left, left, right, 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 left, left, right, 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 left, left, right, 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 left, left, right. Now let's play together. So next, I will be showing you how to play the instrument called the maraca. This maraca is, uh, is a gourd. It's a gourded instrument, and inside it has beads. So when you shake, you, it makes a sound. Uh, some have even used um, BB gun pellets for the inside to get a brighter sound. This maraca was made by an amazing artesana from Mayagüez, Puerto Rico, from Tayel Kenwati, her name is Barbara Perez Rodriguez. So the motion of the maraca, first, this is the way I like to grab it, right here. I feel like I have more control doing that. Some people hold it this way or this way. Uh, I find that I have the best control putting my thumb in the back and my finger in the, on the front, okay? So it's easy. You just go forward and back, forward and back. Okay, so when we're doing this for Sika, you go like this. Notice how the first one is a little louder, the first hit. So don't do this. You're not going to have control. You could just do some very small movements. The first hit, I'm letting it slap right here on the front, and the other hit is hitting back here, and then the, the other two hits are just sliding in the bottom, if you think of it that way, okay? So let's okay, let's try that together.
So next we're going to learn how to play a bomba drum. Uh, the bomba drums are usually made out of wine or cheese barrels and on top they have a goat skin in order for you to play with your hands not with sticks. There are three types of tuning methods that are commonly used for bariles. The first one is called cancamo. We use a drum key to bring down the pressure of the skin at the same time you'll be tightening the skin to get a higher sound. The second is called cuña drums. Cuña drums are tuned by striking down some plates that are made out of wood using a rubber mallet to get a tuning. And last but not least, one of my favorite is one called the toniquete drums. The toniquete drums are tourniquet drums. So exactly what it is. You take a stick and put it in between the rope and as you spin the, turn the stick, the pressure of the drum comes down to get a tuning. So this bomba drum you're going to learn right now is called the buleador. The buleador is a, it plays a pattern over and over throughout the entire song um, and is repetitively. So the pitch is from a low pitch tuning to about medium pitch tuning. The buleador is a foundation for the dancers to do a basic step called the paseo and also for the audience to do a paseo while people are playing bomba. So this is how the pattern goes. So the first hit it's just me putting my hand there and the second hit is a slap and the next hit is an open tone with your left hand right hand open tone and back to the left hand so again, it's Let's do that together.
Here's how the buleador will sound with the quad variation. And last but not least, you're going to see another instrument called the primo. The primo is the drum that talks. Um, it's also the drum that follows the dancer simultaneously, not rehearsed, simultaneously marking the steps of a male or a female bomba dancer. This drum is also called osubidol. Primo osubidol. Um, I would say if you're new to bomba, this is the instrument that you want to go to last. I would say practice this in every order that I've been showing it. Um, this drum takes a long time and everyone plays primo or the subidor their own way. Because that's an expression of you. That's your expression. Now when the dancer's doing it, they're dancing, you're marking them. So they are controlling you and they're making music through you. Also, Primo is only one drum. Now we talked about earlier how you can have many buleadores, but with the Primo there's only one drum. Why? Because that's the drum that talks. So now I'm gonna play eight measures of a buleador pattern on the Primo. And then I'm gonna play the next eight is going to be me marking, just talking, not marking a dancer because in this situation I don't have a dancer, so I'm just going to be filling, doing whatever comes to my head at the moment and alternating back and forth so you can see what pattern is supposed to do and how it works.
there's something else that the Primo does. Uh, the Primo, or Subidol, it does a call. It calls. You're having a conversation when you're playing bomba, when you're playing most drums. Um, in this situation, the primo is calling and the bulliadores are responding. So in the beginning, the first hits you hear without any other instruments involved, you're going to see that the primo is going to do four hits and the bulliador responds and they start together. Here's a demonstration of that. So guys, we've come to the ending. Um, you can play this video over and over. Practice, practice, and have a good time. Enjoy. This is about enjoyment. Have a good time. Um, also, Bomba is about community. It's about community. So not one person alone can do this. In this situation, I'm just teaching it. But when you're out there, go to Bombasos. Go out there and support. Support Bomba. Support Puerto Rican culture. Let's support one another. And here are a couple of artists that I think you should look into. Just a few. There's many more, but here's just a few.
of this today and I would also like to thank the Bronx Music Heritage Center for putting this all together and a special shout out thank you to Elena Martinez and to Bobby Sanabria for being a big part of this thank you and good night